Welcome to the Lightroom 2 Podcast, my name is RC. Now in this video, what I wanted to do is talk to you about how to be able to install components and plugins into your existing Lightroom 2 catalog. And there's gonna be a lot of times that you're going to be doing a lot of stuff inside of Lightroom. That's pretty cool, but there are tons of different things that are out there that you can use to be able to leverage the Lightroom 2 experience into something that's more productive. Think of them kind of like time savers that will help you get stuff done faster. Probably two of the biggest places where I see things like that happening are uploading to online galleries or the creation of online galleries themselves, which made me think, all right, well, why don't we talk about how to be able to add plugins and how to be able to add components into Lightroom 2. Now, I'm just gonna minimize this here real quick, and what I'll do is I'll bring up what I'm going to use for the upload process. I have the Flickr exporter, right, which lets you take a series of files and upload them into Flickr. And I also have a very common web slideshow gallery here called Slideshow Pro. Now, those are two things that I'd like to be able to incorporate into Lightroom. Let's go ahead and start with the Slideshow Pro section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Lightroom and I'm going to go to Preferences. And inside of my Preferences, you'll notice that there's a ton of different things, but Presets is kind of what I'm looking for here. And there's my location section, and notice that there's a drop down that says Show Lightroom Presets folder. This is by far the fastest way for you to be able to know where exactly those presets live rather than try to go and navigate and find them. Now, in here, you have a section called Web Galleries and Web Templates, and this is where I'm going to put in my Slideshow Pro component. So, what I'll do is I'll open up a new window, and on the desktop, I have my Slideshow Pro. Now, the plugin for the component for the Slideshow Pro is this one right here, this Web Engine one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to place this inside of the Web Galleries folder. So notice now it's in here. Slideshow Pro also comes with a series of web templates. So those templates sit inside of here, right? There's a series of presets that you can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those templates and place them inside of the Web Templates option. That's it. I can go ahead and I can close these two sections. I'll close this window. And now let's go ahead and quit Lightroom and we'll restart it again. Now that we have them started, I'll go ahead and I'll select a series of images that I want to be able to use for export and I'll go to my web module. Now inside of the web module, on top of all of the other plugins that we normally would see here, engines that we would see for creating these slides, you'll notice that now I have an additional one. The one that I have now is Slideshow Pro for Lightroom version 1.4.6, which is a great way for you to be able to show off your images. Now, take a look on this side. You have also a series of templates that you can use for this. I've made one called SSP Black 1. Basically, what it does is it just kind of takes all of the color out of everything and just lets it be one quick standalone template. See, nothing there. There's no header information. All it does is my previous, my next information, and we're good to go. So that's a quick way for you to be able to do that. Now, if you think that plugins for this is harder, absolutely not. It's actually very easy. Take a look. I'm going to go here under the file menu. And in the file menu, you notice that you'll have a section there called Plugin Manager. This brings up any plugins that you have registered on your computer. Now, I only have one here that I'm using, which is the Photomatix HDR plugin. Let's go ahead and add the Flickr one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add, and it's going to tell me, all right, well, where is it? My Flickr exporter is right on the desktop. Now, obviously, this would be something that you would load into a specific directory onto a drive that you want to keep. Let's say, like, you know, if you have a specific folder on your computer that you're going to store all of these put them there. Don't put it on your desktop because you might accidentally delete stuff off your desktop and then all of a sudden you won't have access to that plugin. So make sure that you do that. Now once I click on the folder, I'm going to click on add plugin. Notice that it doesn't do anything, right? So go into the exporter itself and select the plugin. Now do you want to update the catalog? Absolutely. Go ahead and update the catalog for the plugin and then you'll notice that you get some directions here that you can use, right? It tells you, all right, well, you've found, you found it and some information on how to be able to kind of set this up 
and you got to be able to go into the files on disk. So let's go ahead and talk about that one here real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File. Let's say that I have uh, these four images that are here. And I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to click on Export. And under the Export, there's this section here that says Files on Disk. Instead of Files on Disk, I'm going to click on the drop down, and notice that now I have Flickr. Now you can go ahead and you can actually authenticate yourself into Flickr and then you can export and set all of that stuff up right on this one website and you don't necessarily have to go anywhere else. You don't have to take it into Flickr and upload it and download it. With one plugin, you've made uploading to something like Flickr very, very easy. My name's RC. Thanks for watching.